In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape all YouTube comments from multiple videos. Now, I've made a video about this before, a basic video. You can see the link for that up above. But that was limited to 100 comments. Now we're going to scrape all the comments for this video and all comments for multiple videos. Now I have the code for this out on GitHub. I'll put a link for that down below. But let's get into Python. To get started, you need an API key from Google Cloud. I've covered that all in the last video. So get the API key and just stick it where I have dev in here. The request is exactly the same as our last video. We're taking a snippet from comments and we're taking max results equals 100, which is the most results you can take out. And then we're taking the response from that and we are going to break out what we want in terms of items in the comments. We want the auto display name published at like count, text original and public. And this is the new part here. So I'm creating an infinite while loop here. So while one equals one, and then I'm doing a try accept. So we take the next page token from the original request, and then there's a key error gets pulled when there's no next page token. So that'll take all the comments that'll come out from a video. So this is how we make sure that we get all the comments in here with the next page token. It's going to get that next page token and then I'm going to do a new request in here which is pretty much the same as the old request the only difference is that there's a next page token at the end which we've just pulled up above and then we're going to execute that and we're going to get the exact same items out of that um, in a for loop I'm going to go into how you can add more in here in a second and then finally, we're going to put this into a data frame. And I'm just taking the df.info out here to show you what's come out of this. So we're going to run this down here. And then we can see we from that video, we have 556 comments. And the reason why we 556 is that this doesn't take the comment replies, it only takes the top level comments. So I'm just looking at the first output of this in my response. And this is how you can take out different elements of the response. So if you want to add more things to it. So the top level is kind e tag ID and snippet. And then snippet is a dictionary. So you have to go down a level there. We have the channel ID, we've got the video ID, then we have the top level comment, which is another dictionary. Then we have e tag ID in that and snippet. And that's the important thing. Snippet top level comment snippet. This has all the juicy details in here. The text display, it has the author name and a couple of different things about the author that the like count and the date this was published by. And then in the original snippet, we've got can reply total reply count and is public. So how to break this out into the for loop, I'm taking comment equals item snippet top level comment snippet and out of that, I'm taking out the author name published at and like count. I'm also doing public equals snippet is public and I'm just putting that into my response and that is what's gonna pull out my stuff in there. So just keep in mind there's different levels within the response and you can add these to what comes out in the data frame. And um, so play around with this and see what you get to. What I've taken out here is I've taken out the author, the updated at, the like count, the text of the comment, which is probably the only thing I'll use and public equals true or false in there. So how we can sort this and get the top 10 comments is that we can sort values by like count, ascending equals false and zero to 10 to just get the top 10 out of here. So these are the top 10 comments from this video. I can also do 100 if I want and get the top 100 comments out. So how to pull comments for multiple videos, we're using the exact same start of the of the imports and initialization of the YouTube client, but then we're gonna wrap a, a function around the request. I'm just gonna call this get comment and my parameter is video because I want to be able to put in multiple videos in here. So all I really change is that the video is called video. The video ID is video, which I've put up into this. So I'm gonna run this. This just initializes the function. And now it, to get all the comments from any video, it's as simple as DF equals get comments, video ID, and then we get out the DF and the video ID is in the URL of the YouTube video. So this is my comments here, but this is exactly the same as before. And the beauty of this is I can loop through a number of different video IDs. So I'm starting with a blank data frame. I'm going for I in a number of video IDs. I'm going to get the comments with my function and then I'm going to concat those together. So the first time it runs, it'll create at the data frame because the data frame is empty and then it'll just add all the other comments on. So I've taken four videos here. 
and you can see there's 967 rows. The IDs don't go up to 967 because they're IDs from each video, but you can see the different videos IDs down here. And just to prove it, I'm gonna run this value counts and this will show you how many comments per ID. So I hope you find that video useful. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and I'll see you very soon for another data analytics tutorial.